Dahil nag-transition na tayo from face-to-face to online learning, nasa bahay na ang paggawa ng mga academic tasks at assignments, well, abot kamay na ang pagtulong ng mga magulang sa kanilang mga anak. Ngunit, ang tanong, dapat bang sagutin ng mga magulang ang assignments ng mga bata? Simpleng sagot, hindi. Ayon kay Adler, marapat na iput forward natin ang separation of tasks. Which means, this is the mindset that unravels the complex entanglement of interpersonal relationships. Ibig sabihin, kung ito ay gawain ng isang tao, hindi dapat alam yung another party at gawin ito para sa kanya. Hindi dapat natin eh, confuse ang personal tasks natin at ang tasks ng iba. So, we must unscramble them. Sinasabi that those people who cannot respect the boundaries o kaya yung tinatawag na separation of tasks ay narcissistic or self-centered. At itong mga magulang who do the tasks of the kids actually do not do that for the benefit of the kids. Ginagawa nila ito for the benefit of themselves. Ha? Huh? Ganito yan. She worries so much about what others would say to her kasi ginawa na niyang extension ng sarili niya yung anak niya. Hence, it's an attachment to self rather than concern for others. Kasi kung titingnan mo, no, kung gagawin ng magulang ang assignments, tests, and whatever undertaking is that which is supposedly for the kid, then hindi na malalaman ng studyante yung value ng hard work at maranasan yung failure uh, trying to bounce back at marami pang learning na nakapaloob tungkol sa paggawa ng mga bagay-bagay sa klase. Let's straighten this up. Hindi ko po sinasabi dito that parents must be cold and indifferent sa mga bata most especially kung sila ay nahihirapan na o bumabagsak sa klase ang pinipin point natin dito ay yung value ng separation of tasks nalalaman natin ang distinction ng tasks based on who will benefit on the choice made we can guide the kid naman in a variety of ways for example pagbibigay sa kanila ng practice tests pag help sa kanila sa pagre-review o kaya tulungan sila in terms of their study habits at schedule pero wag lang yung tipong sasagutan na mismo yung assignment o yung task nila dahil ito yung mas convenient iba yon to conclude minsan kasi baka hindi tayo nagiging mindful in terms of the separation of tasks at uh, confuse natin ang tasks nila sa tasks natin therefore unraveling that would be great at saka huwag natin gawin ang mga kids bilang extension of ourselves and so they could learn really 